here at the NGV, the vision we hope to realize is on display. That there are moments when you walk into a room and you'll see extraordinary design and furniture with drawings and paintings, and then you'll move to another space and see an incredibly intense focus on contemporary design, and then you go into another space and again see photography with film uh, and painting. And that intermixing, the ability to zero in on one media and locate it in the rich fabric of a larger conversation of different media with each other is what we're trying to realize. The notion of an institution where works of art are constantly talking to each other across time, but across media as well. And for us, the opportunity to explore how that might be done, and Miranda, thank you for being such a generous colleague in working with us and helping us stretch our own imagination about how to realize this. It's an experiment for us. And if there's one thing that I hope we can achieve, this project is the notion, and, and again I fall back on Alfred Barr, uh, the notion that the Museum of Modern Art is a laboratory, a place of experimentation and learning, not a place of answers, but a place of questions. Uh, and that our responsibility when we display our collection is to suggest hypotheses, ways of imagining art, not fixed answers. And so coming here and seeing one iteration of how this might look is really exciting for us, but it's also the goal that we're after with this week. Well, it gives Melbournians and all visitors to Melbourne the opportunity to see some of the best works of their time. So we're seeing over a 130 year period, some real masterpieces starting from the 1890s right through to now. Well, I hope this exhibition brings a lot of pleasure and interest to Victorians and Melburnians. It's a great show, it's a wonderful opportunity to see extraordinary works of art, but it's also a celebration of a great partnership between the Museum of Modern Art and the National Gallery here.